Good morning everyone. I am Sajanam from second BBA from Dr. Rajal Singh College of Arts Science Coimbatore. I am going to take a topic about history of GST. I am going to explain the topic first. History of GST in India. When did GST start? Tax structure before GST. Decision taken by a GST council. Benefits of GST implementation. Then I am then last I am going to conduct a coaching session. Let us see first topic, history of GST in India. The history of goods and services tax GST in India dates back to the year 2000 and culminates in 2017 with four bills relating to the becoming an act. The GST act claims to streamline taxes for goods and services across India. Then did GST start? Several countries have already established the goods and services tax. In Australia, the system was introduced in the year 2000 to replace the federal wholesale tax. GST was implemented in New Zealand in 1986. A hidden manufactured sales tax was replaced by a GST in Canada in the year of 1991. In Singapore, GST was implemented in 1994. GST is a value added tax in Malaysia that came into effect in 2015. These are the countries who follow GST. Tax structure before GST. Before the implementation of GST, taxation laws between the center and state were clearly demarcated. There were no overlap between the fiscal powers, whatever. The center would lay tax on goods manufacturers except all Google for a consumption, narcotics, optimum, etc. The state had the power to charge tax on the sales of goods. The center was also laying service tax on all types of service, services. The center would lay the central tax that was collected by the organizing state. Additionally, the center was charging and collecting additional duties of customs on goods that were imported into or exported from India. This tax was leaved in addition to be basic custom duty. The additional duty of custom is referred to as countervailing duty CBD and special additional duty SAD and it counterbalancing effective to state VAT, sales tax and other such taxes. Decision taken by GST Council. Some of the major decisions taken by GSTC so far are there would be a fourth tax rate under the GST regime that 5%, 12%, 18% and 28%. Some goods and services were also classified as exempt from tax. Access above the peak rate of 28% would be live on certain film and luxurious goods. The administrative control over 90% of taxpayers with a turnover less than Rs. 1.5 crores would be a with the state tax administration. 10% of control would be with the central tax administration. Administrative control over taxpayers having turnover above Rs. 1.5 crores would be equally divided between the state and central tax administration. Benefit of GST implementation key benefits of GST announcement are detailed to below. As mentioned above, the GST system will create a common national market that boosts foreign investment. The cascading effect of taxation will be migrated. There will be a uniformity in laws, rate of tax and procedures across states. The GST regime is expected to boost manufacturing activities and exports. This would in turn generate more employment and lead to the growth of the economy. Indian products would to be more competitive in the international market. The GST system is likely to improve the overall investment climate in India. I am really happy to complete this session here and I am going to start a question session. Welcome to the question session. Let me start. My first question goes to C. Devi Priya from 2nd BBA. In Singapore, GST was implemented in the year Answer 1994. Very good, nice answer. Let me start the second question session now. This goes to G. Suryasruti from 2nd BBA. The GST Act aims to tax taxes 
for goods and services across India? The answer is streamline. Very good. What a beautiful answer. My session is going to end now. Uh, I am really happy to conduct this session as a special session to more girls, to girls. So I am very happy to conduct this. Thank you so much for all. Thanks to my classmates to listen my PPT presentation and main thanks to my teacher Mr. Jagannath for giving this opportunity to present my PPT. Thank you all.